So y'all, <laughs> I literally just got in my car and anywho, good morning. I didn't even say good morning. Why did I just get in my car and I had chicken crumbs every fucking where? Like, <laughs> oh shit. Worried about them, I messed my damn exit. God damn it. How many minutes is that gonna put me behind? If y'all would have seen the amount of chicken crumb that I had in this damn car, it was just ridiculous. I should be ashamed of myself. I was trying to show y'all, but my camera was dead. I just found this battery would have of a charge. So yeah. You know, but last night I had a good time. I was a little smith. <laughs> but um what was I about to say? Y'all, it was so freaking hot in that club. It was so hot in there. I'm like, oh my god, I told somebody like, I'm about to turn into a snowman. Y'all about to see me melt in this bitch because <laughs> The makeup was going to be on the floor, how hot it was. Like, why? Why Why do we even have the heat on in the club, period? Anywho, I'm about to... I'm about to go help D'Angelo paint. Um, I thought he was going to have a short day today, but I guess not. I guess he was talking about football. Sunday was going to be his short day working so that he can watch football. So, we're about to go help him paint. If I have to, if I don't, if I don't gotta do nothing, I'm gonna sit there. <laughs> Honey, I'm gonna sit there. Keep him company. But first, Starbucks. Oh my God, y'all. Look at this freaking line. I think the fuck not. I'm not, I am, I refuse to wait in that line. Child. I'd rather go to the gas station and get a Simply Lemonade. It ain't that goddamn serious. Maybe it's another one on the way. I'm trying to get over to D'Angelo by 12 o'clock because I have to meet with um, some of my social media friends. We're gonna start this thing where we kind of have like brunch or lunch together. And we just talk about how our social media platforms is going, what seems to be working, what seems to not be working. And that's as far as Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, you know, whatever we got going on. One of the ladies just put out a an ebook. Um, we just give each other advice on little stuff like that, like business plans, little business ideas we can bounce off of each other. That's pretty much the goal. Today's gonna be the first day. So yeah, hopefully that's you know what I'm saying, cute and fun and productive, most importantly. So that's later, and then after that, I gotta go pick up King from my mama's house. And I need to get a gift for my best friend's son. His birthday's tomorrow. So I might go to Walmart, or I might just wait till tomorrow. But I know if I wait till tomorrow, I'm gonna be running late to the party, so. <sighs> but I really don't feel like doing it today. I feel like I already got enough stuff on my agenda for today. Golly, can I get a break? I just wanna chill and watch some Christmas movies and drink some hot chocolate. So you really just gonna sit here and block the whole intersection and not fucking let me in? I hope I can get me some Starbucks. Thank you so much for your patience. What's your name, sir? Hi, can I get a strawberry ice tea with the uh, infused strawberry and infused kiwi? I'm sorry, what size? Uh, a large. Alright, and then you said with lemonade or no lemonade? Yes, with, with lemonade. lemonade. You said peach juice and what else? No, 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 I said with lemonade, mm -hmm. with um, infused strawberries and kiwi. I don't have kiwi anymore. 
Okay, that's fine. So, unfortunately, that one was a discontinued one. They replaced it with the pineapple passion fruit. Can I get that in there? Yeah. Yeah. So, no strawberries, just the pineapple No, I, I want strawberries well, and pineapple. You got it. Anything else today? Um... You know what? Give me another strawberry Ikea mm -hmm. uh, medium. You got it. With lemonade as well? Yes, please. What's the name on the order? Diamond. Just the traditional spelling? Yes. Awesome. It's going to your receipt? No, thank you. Are you vlogging? Yes, I am. <laughs> do you do it for like a YouTube channel? I do. Oh, yes. so much fun. Thank How long you. have you been doing it? Um, consistently about a little over a year, probably like a year and a half. Are you doing like Vlogmas right now? I'm going to do seven days of Vlogmas, yes. Ooh. So right now I'm recording for Vlogmas. Oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You should come by and like get like a surprise me drink or something sometime. A who? A surprise me drink. I never had that. So basically you like come to the barista and you're just like whatever you think is going to be best mm -hmm. and then they just surprise you with the drink. I'm really picky, so I'm not sure if that would be good. I usually will ask, like, uh -huh. for a size preference if you like hot or cold. And, like, oh. The flavors that you do already know that you like. I might have to try that next time. Yeah. Okay, I say, I if you pop in tomorrow, or not tomorrow, uh -huh. on Monday, I'll be here Monday and I can surprise you with something. Okay, cool. Awesome. Thank you. What's your name? Felicia. Like, I Felicia. Okay. <laughs> not by Felicia, girl. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. If I'm in the area, I definitely stop by. Okay, awesome. Thank you. you okay, you too. Y'all, I'm recording from my phone because my camera went dead. Not everybody want to back out their parking spot at the same time. Oh, my God. It is way too much traffic in this damn parking lot. But y'all not the damn <laughs> the little white girl at the counter talking about my name Felicia like bye Felicia. <laughs> I'm like girl not bye Felicia. It be so funny when white people be knowing like be hip to like black people stuff. <laughs> so y'all I got my drink. Here's the, here's the drink details just in case you guys want to try. It's so good it's one of those refreshment drinks did i say that right <laughs> mm, mm, mm. so good anywho y'all i'm about to pop up on here so you don't even know i'm coming i'm always trying to surprise him and this man hates surprises i need to i need to start anywho i'm gonna see y'all in a minute I need to call Delena to see if we still linking because I ain't even talked to none of the girls. Here I am telling y'all I'm about to have a lunch date with them. And I don't I haven't even talked to neither one of them. I hope they don't cancel on me. If they do, it is what it is. I'm gonna still make today productive. But I'm gonna see y'all in a minute. Alright. Okay, y'all. So we here at the work site. This is where D'Angelo been working so hard the last few days. Y'all, tenants be really fucking up the houses. Like, they be really messing the houses up and you be having to come in and redo everything. Huh? I was just saying, careful where you sit and stuff, but if you good, it's I know, I was making sure before I had some of stuff done. shit. This an upstairs? Oh. But yeah, tennis be messing the house up. So being a landlord is not all peaches and cream like it may seem. You don't just collect rent. You actually have to do work. When tenants move out, you have to renovate the house to keep up with the, you know, the standards of people like living not living conditions but you know like the standards of house houses they change things get old you have to update and whatever not that's basically renovation i already said that so 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 yeah you just wanted me to come over here and keep you company or you wanted me to paint why are you off what what because i wanted to surprise you no because you wanted to pop up on me and see what was i here or some shit on so just because 
Just because when I first pulled up, you wasn't here, now you thinking. If that was the case, I would have called you like, where are you at? I'm like, he probably went to go nah, get something you know, to eat. You know I had been sitting outside for yeah, a minute. Y'all you know. <laughs> remember when I, if y'all watch, yes. If y'all watch my get ready with me, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> I was telling them how I was so obsessed with making sure you wasn't cheating on me. <laughs> I I talked about that in my get ready with me. So if y'all haven't seen it, go check that out. <laughs> now he's talking about I can't. I'm glad you popped up without me going a little more uh, sure assurance. <laughs> I got to set. I do a little. He here. coming up here? Yeah. What he got to do? He about to put a uh, little access panel in his back room to the shower. He about to put the shower set up. See me before I actually got all the way dressed. I'm like, Shoot. I don't want to see him. I, I, I want him to tell me what he think when I'm all the way put together. <laughs> I knew you was gonna say that, baby. I always put that shit on for you. What are you talking about? Mine is mine is different. It's unusual. Oh my god. <laughs> baby, I always do this. What you talking about? That shit was real. That shit. It was just the the bust down you ain't never seen before. You ain't never seen me with a straight. Because it's so crazy. Right when I met you, I stopped wearing my hair straight. And I just, because I seen Shayla do that little style. The style that I usually wear. You know, I usually just put curls in my hair or whatever. And I didn't be wavy. I seen Shayla do that. And I started wearing my hair like that. And I never changed it. I was just thinking, like, that's how you kind of know I kind of, like, lost myself and was trying to adjust to my new life because why was I wearing my hair the same way for so long? I always used to change my hair up. I had red hair, blonde hair, bobs, long hair to my ass. I used to curl my hair straight. I used to wear my shit so much, but it seemed like when I met you, like, I just stuck to that one style and didn't switch up. Maybe that's it. I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, because I definitely I stopped wearing I stopped wearing makeup as much and everything. But really, I stopped wearing makeup because you said you liked it the natural look. I do. You gave me an overdose on that shit. <laughs> I like straight look. You like that straight look? This, I like straight look. This that bust down. YouTube, I mean on uh, Instagram, I'm gonna be happy. I don't give a fuck because I'd rather, I would rather have it that way. But y'all, I'm sitting here trying to edit. I'm keeping the visual company. Um, in an hour, I gotta go meet with the ladies. They still will. Yeah. Y'all, so I'm downtown. I'm not too far from where I'm supposed to be, but I'm downtown and I just. I rode past my school, my college where I graduated from. If y'all don't know, I have a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. And this was right here. This was, oh, this was the school of engineering. Oh my God, I spent a lot of time in this building, y'all. Getting my degree. Oh, look at her. She's graduating. Oh, look at the graduates. It's today graduation. Okay. To just give y'all a quick rundown so again this is the building school of engineering or college of engineering 
this brings back so many memories my friend used to live in this little dorm hall right here um this was the first dorm hall that i lived in it's called gafari and oh my god my friend told me they tore the building down right here this was i had my first apartment it was still on campus but that's crazy it looks so freaking weird with that open space it was a big tall building like the one y'all see in the back it was real old it probably was their first little dorm room that they had on campus but i also spent a lot of time in that building right there that building right there is where i met this girl named paris and a couple of others oh my god okay all this right here is new like none of this stuff was down here when i came to this school none of this was down here this was a parking lot so a lot has changed none of that none of this on this side was here but what was i just saying to y'all so that building i was showing y'all back there that was the building where i met this girl named paris and a couple of other students that i was like well acquainted with they was all engineers and we was in this program called emergent scholars it was a math program where it helped you understand complex math a little bit better at that time my engine my degree or my major was education or something like that like math education i wanted to be a math professor at the time but upon meeting them and talking to them i started getting interested in engineering and that's when i you know end up changing my major originally i went to school to be OBGYN, but when i started taking the classes them science classes was just a little bit too tough for me Okay, I, I really, it was too much work. I ain't like it. So that's when I switched my major to education. I wanted to be a math professor. And then when I met them, I ended up switching my major to mechanical engineer because I felt like it was a step above being a professor financial wise, like money wise, the money was good. So that's why I went with mechanical engineering on top of everything. Like the curriculum was more of my speed. It was math related. I was really good at math. So it came easy to me. Like why not pick something that is easy for me? Why make life harder for myself? Because I wanted to be an OBGYN. On top of that, OBGYNs began sued. It was just a lot of cons that I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just change my major. Anywho, y'all. Delena got us going to Condado's Tacos. I never been to this location. I didn't even know they had a Condado's downtown. I usually go to the one in Real Oak. So yeah, I think it's gonna be just me and Lena. Lex said she was Christmas shopping or something. Oh, here we go, it's right here. Oh, that's a handicap. Of course. Hey guys, I'm Alec. Like, how are we taking care of you guys? I think it's because I'm just sleepy. Oh, okay. You want yeah. to anything to drink besides water? I'm sorry. Can we get like five minutes? Because I yeah, literally just got. <laughs> you guys got like a film project or something going on? YouTube. Yeah. Oh, YouTube. You guys vlog? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. You want to follow us? You want to yeah, subscribe? I do, yeah. <laughs> okay. What is it? You want to subscribe? You want to subscribe? Yeah. Okay. 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 I don't play my games when I was doing it either. I did it with me like a few years ago. For real? I don't do it anymore. You don't so. do it no more? Really? Yeah. What? No, no. I don't do Instagram now. I, I wasn't, I didn't like filming as much as I like photographs and like. Okay. I see. I really did. I don't know if I got a big ass <laughs> booty or what because Damn these man. chairs do not be able like to fit my ass in a chair like this part right here. I they should move that bag. No, I'm not can't. about to play with you. Look at this. Look at this lady. Okay, what's wrong with the booty? Look at my ass. Oh yeah. You see my ass? Come on, like this hanging off right there. This is like in to my cheek. Yeah, like that hurt is very uncomfortable. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. <laughs> oh, I cannot fit in these chairs. Okay, Boot too much booty in the pants.
Need to remember who y'all talking to. It's a slaughter gang CEO. I got dick for you if I'm not working, girl. If I'm busy, then fuck no. You need to find you someone else to call when your bank account get low. You need to find you yeah, someone else. You need so hot, you get me so hot, you get me so hot. Oh, you. Did you not have a drink about anything? Okay. Did I have a drink? I know when you really like, like it, enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. You have a drink about how you feel. You have a drink about how you feel. That's why we get upset. As soon as I wake up, bro, literally, as soon as I wake up and open my fucking eyes, I pick up my phone and I go to the You go to your head. And I can put a hand in your head. Hey y'all, so I know I'm coming on here looking like a straight little boy, but on the way home, child, I had to take that wig off. I be getting so irritated with like stuff squeezing my head, compression and stuff, because I got like a little elastic band on there. And it was just after so long, eight hours in it, it just be too tight. So I had to take it off on my way home. But um, I'm about to make D'Angelo some eggs because he said he wants some eggs to go with his steak. He basically got a steak from when we went out to eat the other night. Well, we didn't go out to eat. We had ordered takeout from a sit-down restaurant. And he still got his, his steak left. So I'm about to make him some eggs to go with that. a little late but over here around here in 2020 land we eat breakfast for dinner and what movie was that from y'all <laughs> baby d'angelo what movie is this from around here and then from that land yeah <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna mute that part so y'all don't hear what he said because I want to know who else know what movie that is. King said he had one of some french fries, so I ended up stopping at a fast food restaurant. I know, I know. But I ain't eat nothing today but two tacos, two small tacos from Condado. So I ended up getting a meal. King wanted the fries, I got a meal and got some sliders. They come two, they kind of small. But y'all, these things is so good they bust it's called like savory sliders but i get the chicken ones and i put a little buffalo i asked them for their buffalo sauce it's kind of like a hot sauce but it's a little bit thicker than hot sauce so i just drizzled it on there like that baby y'all these be slapping I'm talking about hitting hard. If y'all got a savory slide, so I cannot talk. If y'all got a savory sliders, you want to get you one of these. Y'all better get you one of these. What's that? It's a chicken sandwich. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I don't know about y'all, but I hate when they put a thick ass piece of chicken meat on my sandwich like I don't want to bite through that thick ass meat like make my shit you know what I'm saying kind of thin I hate thick chicken it's crazy because D'Angelo hate thick chicken too that's how you know we so made we be we always be on the same page that's it I just want to put y'all up on this I'll see y'all tomorrow Good morning, y'all. Good freaking morning. Even though it has not been such a good morning for me, no negativity 2023. No negativity 2023. No negativity 2023. If I need to say it again for the people in the back, no negativity for 2023. People really testing me. 
I'm just trying to make I'm just trying to make a joke about my unpleasant morning. You know, people got me waking up in my feelings and shit. How dare you? How dare you treat me this way? I know. But anywho, y'all, I'm about to set this meat up. Um, this is some, what is this again? Some beef stir fry. So I'm gonna cook pepper, steak, and rice tonight. And I'm just sitting this out so I can make sure that it's unthawed by the time I get home so I can make my man a nice, healthy dinner, okay? Because he been working hard. Okay, he been working hard, sun up to sun down. I'm talking about six in the morning to six at night. He did that Friday, Saturday, and today he went over there. I think he said he was coming back at one o'clock today because he want to watch football. And I think he gonna be done doing, you know, painting or whatever not. So that man walked out of here limping this morning. Okay, <laughs> I said, oh, I feel so bad for him. You know. Want to work hard, my my hard working man. You know, working hard to pay these bills for his family. Let me make you a nice, healthy meal, okay? To put on your stomach. So that's what I'm doing. Cooking for my man, my man, my man, my man. Always, oh my man, my man, my man, my man. Anywho, y'all, the agenda for today is. The agenda for today is to celebrate my best friend's son's birthday at Chuck E. Cheese today. I'm going to take King. I've been wanting to take King somewhere because I feel like me and King ain't had no, no fun time in a long time. So, I've been um, like excited about today taking him there, have fun, Chuck E. Cheese, whoop, whoop, whoop. I'll just see y'all later. Anywho, y'all, so I just finished doing what I had to do around the house. Got me and King dressed. I'm going to give y'all quick details on the outfit. Nothing too much, nothing too crazy, plain and simple. I am going to a kid's party, so, yeah. But, y'all, that's the look for today. Say cheese. Cheese. Okay, so we got King. <laughs> King with the champion on, full suited and booted. <laughs> You know, he got his little Nikes on. Well, actually, they're Jordans. I love these little shoes. He hates them because all he want to wear is his Paw Patrol shoes. But that's the fit for King today. He got his little chain on. Y'all, he broke his original chain, so I just put, like, one of my... King! I just put, like, one of my little chains on... I mean, put on his charm on one of my little chains or whatever not, so... That's that. But we about to get ready to go. Let me see what time it is. I'm sweating, bro. This wig, this little helmet of mine be making me hot. It's two o'clock, the party starts at four. So let me see, let me do a quick rundown real quick. House clean, check. Me took out, ready for dinner, check. Gift, check. Kid that's ready to go play, check. King, you ready? Yeah. You ready to go play? Yeah, I'll play. All right, let me see what you got. You got another toy? Yeah. It's Christmas and you getting more toys before Christmas? Yeah. Boy, you so spoiled. Kids that always ask for toys. Mom, that's not gonna say no. What's that little TikTok they be doing? <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear this, but happiness is a choice, okay? Happiness is a choice. Either you choose to be happy or you choose not to be happy because let me tell you something. No matter how life is, how good life is, how great life is, it's always going to be some bullshit going on. It's always going to be some bullshit. It's always going to be something negative. It's always going to 
be somebody that don't like you. It's always gonna be somebody that got a problem with you. You switched up, you change. It's always going to be something. Even with business, you know? You might not have enough product. Oh, your shipment didn't come in time. It's always gonna be some negative shit going on. Period, no matter how good life gets. So you have to make a sound decision to just be happy. You have to choose to be happy or if you don't, you just, you gonna be miserable. And if you let that shit consume your mind, yeah, you're gonna be miserable. So just choose to be happy, you feel me? Just choose to think about the positive shit that's going on. Choose to be thankful for the things that you do have, the life that you do have. Grateful for, you know, what God has already blessed you with. Because when you when you do that, more blessings will come. More blessings will come. Fuck a New Year's resolution. That's what I'm on today, okay? We gotta stop putting so much emphasis on New Year's revolutions. Listen, you want to change? Start today. Today, baby. Fuck tomorrow. Fuck tomorrow. I need to make the remix. Fuck tomorrow. Gotta get my voice deep first. Fuck tomorrow. <laughs> I have made a good change. And when this new year come in... And I tell y'all, I'm going to be so off the negativity, like, ooh. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high. Hands up high, tell them dim the lights down right now. Put me in the mood. I'm talking about dark moon perfume. Go, go. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Ooh, and I know your taste is a little bit mm, high maintenance. Ooh, everybody else basic. Party over. It's about to take me 56 minutes to get home. Wow. Wow. What is going on here? Anywho, I came back to show y'all this new little gym bag I got. My mama gave me. And it's so cute. Oh my god, it's kind of big too. She should have wrapped this up and gave it to me as a gift. This week. She got this with some cologne that she had bought for somebody for Christmas. And I used to carry it as a gym bag. I was getting ready to put my gym stuff in here for tomorrow morning. Because you're going to go to the gym. Y'all got to be so nice. And I got these little hats from Marshall, y'all. This is only $12. Ain't this you, baby, for $12? Yeah, I mean. I got my little gel braid in, so. But y'all, I get my hair cut in two freaking days. So I'm about to be stocking up on hats because when my hair not done, I'm gonna be rocking hats. Am I cute, baby, still with the hat on? Fine as hell. <laughs> I got another one. And your car door. And gray. It is? I gotta fix it. This one is real cute because it's thick. It's good quality. Twelve dollars. Well, actually, this one was the only one that was twelve dollars. This one didn't have the proper tag on it, so she was like, "I'll give you, I'll give you this one for twelve dollars as well, huh?" Anyway, y'all. Thank you all for watching this vlog. I'm cooking dinner. I told y'all I was cooking pepper, steak, and rice. But thank you for watching this vlog. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl channel. And I will see you on the next video.